Uh, hello everyone, uh, welcome to Golden After Aviation. Today we are doing a mock route discussion. And our topic is uh, crash uh, error float 593, which occurred on 23rd March 1994. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Krish, and uh, good morning, good morning, Krish. And uh, as today we are discussing Air of Road uh, Flight 593 crash, which occurred on uh, March 23rd, uh, 1994. It was a flight from Moscow to Hong Kong, crashed, resulting in the death of 75 people on board. Uh, the plane was the main cause of this crash was that the autopilot was partially disengaged by. Uh, the P, uh, the second key IC in command, which was Mr. Kudr, uh, Captain uh, Kudrinsky, uh, he allowed uh, his 16-year-old son to sit on the captain's seat, uh, which resulted uh, which resulted in this crash. And the second main the second reason of this crash was the lack of CRM in the cockpit. So I would like to everyone to add a point to it. Hello, everyone. My name is Rahul Bal. I learned a lot. So what I uh, have analyzed, like he violated the SOP, which is mandatory for every individual working in the aviation to follow all the SOP. So he violated the SOP by allowing the unauthorized person to enter in the cockpit and manipulate the flight controls. That was not feasible, and so that was the main cause of the yes. So basically, the reason behind this was that the incident that took place over here is was uh, before the major accidents in the aviation history, like the 9/11, because of which the cockpit rules were not that strict, and after which the pilot had invited their uh, his son and his daughter in the cockpit, and uh, first of all he handed over the aircraft to his daughter, which was an unlawful act, but uh, due to those uh, un not so strict rules. Uh, it was happening and after uh, her daughter uh, left the seat, his son uh, headed over to the, uh, the seat after which uh, just to give him a feel that he is operating the aircraft, he uh, uh, rotated the heading bug after which the aircraft turned to uh, change its heading and uh, when his son felt that it is because of his commands, he rotated the view and when these two things merged together because first of all, it was an autopilot's command as well as it was a, a command that was given manually because of which it was a partial disengagement of the uh, autopilot over here and after which it continuously kept upon uh, the increasing the bank angles and later, uh, and later when it uh, went up uh, greater than 45 degrees the g-force increased and it resulted in this what you made see it hi everyone hi i'm amin uh, where has my teammate chris uh, seated like as also there was a lack of pilot trainings and the protocols insufficient training of the crew to hand the unusual recovery of a Airbus A310. Hello guys, my name is Harsh. I okay. and I email said that the, there was missing the CRA and SOP but also back then in 1994 when the autopilot is partially disengaged there was no sound or no sound to alert the pilots that uh, autopilot is disengaged. So for a long period of time, the pilot even did not notice that the autopilot is partially disengaged. Uh, as my teammate Aman mentioned that uh, it was also that the, way, the second reason of this crash was that the pilots weren't trained as much because at that time uh, the Airbus A310 was a new aircraft to the Russian uh, government and uh, on, uh, from 1000 pilots only 16 pilots were selected for this uh, uh, for 16 pilots were selected to train on this aircraft Airbus C10 and they were not trained uh, rigorously because uh, when uh, they uh, they didn't know about that there is something called partial autopilot which could be disengaged or engaged because earlier they were uh, used to fly on an aircraft which was uh, whether the autopilot will engage or would disengage so that's the main reason i think which caused a crash and uh, this crash led to various uh recoveries was that the airlines emphasized stricter enforcement of the sterile corporate rules uh, which prohibits unnecessary activities policies were reinforced to prevent unauthorized individuals in the cockpit stricter regulation on corporate access security protocols and were tightened to ensure low unauthorized entry during the flight. 
Hi, I am Mohan. Hi, Rahul. Hello. So, this aircraft uh, incident was happened due to the error of pilot. And uh, in this, uh, 75 people on, on the board. So, in that, 63 passengers and 12 crew members. So, this incident happened in the mountain region of Camarillo Oblasta. And it is, uh, this flight was from R Russia to Hong Kong. And, oh, I want to continue this point. So, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ayman. Lovely. What exactly happened was once the pilots realized that the autopilot pilot is disengaged, they tried to control the aircraft back. But since the ailerons were disengaged, it went into a steep bank. And they tried to maintain it once again and they controlled it, but then again it went into a spin. But the, after that, if they couldn't control it because the altitude they were at was really low. So, and after that, only crashing was the end. So, as my teammate have kept a big point about it, I would just like to add something more. Uh, as she said about the bank angle, the one thing that was uh, defect, uh, that was not working properly was that stall alarm that is on uh, that race in a particular aircraft. And that alarm uh, gave the signal of stall when it uh, crossed the bank angle of 45 degree was 3 seconds late, which made uh, them to uh, control it a bit more harder for them to control a particular aircraft. So as my teammate said, uh, that uh, that time uh, CSOP and CRM is not uh, that much good. So that's why captain invited uh, their his uh, son and daughter in the cockpit, and uh, one of uh, his uh, children uh, uh, pushed the rudder pedal. So that's why it uh, disengaged the uh, autopilot partially. So which leads to the crash. So as my teammate said, uh, this. Crash was uh, this crash served as a wake up call for airlines to maintain professional boundaries in the cockpit. Uh, it the CRM were expanded to focus on communication and situational awareness in the cockpit, and the most important thing, training emphasized in the importance of pilot ma uh, maintaining uh, min maintaining full situations and awareness even when the autopilot is engaged. Yes, as my teammates said that after that, uh, this is uh, um, this is the very good topic for real life. So according to that uh, improvement, so many we can see that those are called uh, sterilize, sterilize the cockpit and uh, no no unauthorized person is not to be allowed in the cockpit while in the uh, flight. So this. As my teammate Krish mentioned, like uh, many of the airlines uh, and the aircraft manufacturer has designed like the aircraft in the modern automation that nowadays is the, the safety alarms uh, should English. So as my teammate says, uh, after this incident, the uh, airlines and the ICAO uh, has made a stricter rule that, like that uh, no other person is authorized to uh, get into the cockpit. Uh, I would like to pa mm. pass and So if everyone is, um, do you have any point? No, I would have to conclude the points if everyone has to. After the, yeah, uh, this the brief discussion, what we have learned that it is a bad and sad incident which happened, but as uh, <coughs> the aviation industry and the airlines focused on the learning, we have few learnings that crash highlighted the importance of sterile cockpit. Also, Renewability focus on crew resource ma management. There are some technicals upgrade also, like flight data recorder will record some more information about the flight. And there is upgraded autopilot which alert the pilots with a sound, with a beep sound if the autopilot disengaged. Thank you. Okay, so uh, how was this, Yugi? You tell me. How does it? Anyone else was a fancy switch? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. The GT was uh, good. Okay. But um, I need some more polishing. Okay. Um, so first, good parts. Okay. Good initiation. Okay. And uh, then good points. Okay. And uh, so overall, it was it was fair. Okay. Uh, now the things which we should work on or improve upon, okay, like uh, 
you could have delivered more points okay like specifically your style of delivering is good but uh, you know not delivering you know i mean delivering only a single point you know when you have 10 12 minutes and when it's, it's it's not that you know that people are not giving you a chance so please deliver more points okay but don't try to you know i mean take any others points or not giving chance to others also obviously not okay so specifically in your case in in uh, in both of your case you should deliver more points okay the environment was not like that, you know, that uh, you will know you will not get a chance or something like that. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Um, some more refinement moment, definitely. Okay. Uh, uh, some more practice will, you know, I mean, uh, get rid of the more, uh, you know, your hesitation. Okay. But that's perfectly all right. I am I really appreciate that you were, you know, I mean, uh, you initiated taking a chance. And then you you want to deliver points. It's really appreciated. Okay, and uh, but that that is is the only thing is like we need to polish some uh, you know I mean how to deliver your points. Okay, so I'm I'm but I really appreciate that you were really trying to give your points. Okay, so see I mean oh uh, he he was slightly hesitant but he was trying to give the points. That was that. Okay, good. Oh. Uh, same goes for others also, like uh, I think, uh, I mean in your case also, you could have also delivered more points, okay. So, uh, so let's not be someone who is, you know, uh, uh, looks underconfident, even you, even if you are underconfident from inside, you know, is this, this 20 minutes or this 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, is going to decide whether you go to the next stage, right? Please. This 30 minutes are very important. Take a chance. If you don't take a chance in this 25 to 30 minutes, you know, but maybe the consequences, it's just about this 30 minutes or maybe 20 minutes, please take a chance. Even if you're hesitant, I'm just asking you, requesting you, just for this 20 minutes, remove this hesitancy. Don't get into fear that you're getting judged by the person sitting on the left or right. Bowl do. Kuchinya hoga. Pahar me jai kya skuchra hai, mere left kada rahe kada. Mere points valid hai ya nahi hai, logical hai ya nahi hai. Nahi bowl ne sa achha hai ki hum, whatever we have learned so far from these two, three points, whatever. If you are feeling that you know my points are not you know logical enough, write down your points. Deliver it in a different way. Try to make a different frame, but please deliver it. I'm not telling over deliver it. Over deliver is also you know I mean you know it's like you know I mean don't try to snatch a chance from others. You know be 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 a good team member. Okay, but don't you know don't don't. Give them a chance to think that, you know, I mean, you are not giving your views, you are not giving your points, you are, you know, maybe you are a passive person, you are an underconfident person like that. You got my point? Yes, sir. Good. Oh, uh, so, um, what is? Any, any doubts? Any doubts? So, even if you don't, uh, you know, I mean, perform the best. They are not looking for the best. They are looking for someone who can really put their points, views. They have views, you know, who are, you know, I mean, uh, uh, what is it, pro people, you know, active people. So how many times we can put the point to you? So, so I mean, uh, it is not a, it is, there's no general uh, answer to it. Okay. But you should not be the end of performers in the group discussion. That's it. Okay. What are you saying there, Alex? So they are providing only twelve minutes of the group is. Oh, brutal. not exactly. Okay, the idea is not twelve or fifteen minutes, whatever it is. Okay, and nobody was keeping a time check also. So yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I wanted to ask. Yeah, no, so. somebody should tap a on a time check. Okay. Oh. Uh, like, I think you prompted him, would you like to do a conclusion? I think something like that. Uh, you prompted or 
who prompted you? See, you prompted him to to compute because without time check, like if you have two three minutes left, yeah, or maybe five minutes left. So the uh, you know, so according to time check only you 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 know I mean you uh, give a chance to conclude provided provided the person wants to do a conclusion. He stated that he wanted to. I see you said okay. Otherwise, don't. <laughs> you conclude. You conclude. I don't know how to conclude. Okay, and I want to be in good books that I I give a chance. Okay, so that's it. Anything else? Head ups. Was that over? That was good. Okay. Some more polishing. Yes. Okay. okay. For a child, yeah. polishing. Yes. Can we appreciate the person who initiated that? This is definitely. अच्छा इनिशिएट इनिशिएट इनिशिएशन करने का नहीं बिल्कुल भी नहीं डू ट्राई टू ओवर ओवर बटर ओवर बटरिंग विद देम ठीक है ना एंड यू कैन ऑलवेज से आई मीन आई मीन डेफिनेटली हैव अ वेरी वैल्यू पॉइंट एंड आई वुड लाइक टू ऐड पॉइंट ऑन इट एंड दैट वी कैन प्रिशिएट ओके आई एम नॉट इन कंप्लीट एग्रीमेंट विद दिस पॉइं Okay, but I would like to put it this way. Okay, don't take this as a standard. This is this is what I do. If I have to put my point across, you can have your own sentence. Okay, I'm not I'm not asking you to copy it exactly. Yes. Okay, that's my. Huh?